Today, let's talk about the time when the followers of Jesus were first called Christians. I'm going to read you from Acts chapter 11, verses 25 and 26, where we read, Then Barnabas departed for Tarsus to seek Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. God was moving in the city of Antioch, and the church there flourished. Barnabas was probably exhausted and overwhelmed by all the work and opportunities for God's kingdom. And then he remembered Saul of Tarsus. He searched Paul out and brought him to Antioch to help. Together, Barnabas and Saul taught a great many people, making the church in Antioch strong and a center for great preaching and teaching. The Holy Spirit was at work among the disciples of Jesus, and this made the church community in Antioch something special and world-impacting. So we read with interest that the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. It wasn't until these years at the church in Syrian Antioch that the name Christian became associated with the followers of Jesus. In Acts chapter 1, they were called disciples. In Acts chapter 9, they were called saints. In Acts chapter 5, they were called believers. In Acts chapter 6, they were called brothers. In Acts chapter 5, they were again called witnesses. In Acts chapter 9, they were called followers of the way. In Acts chapter 24, they would be called Nazarenes. But now, here in Acts chapter 10, they would be called Christians. Now, in Latin, the ending I-A-N meant the party of. A Christian was of the party of Jesus. Christians was like saying Jesusites or Jesus people, describing the people who were associated with Jesus Christ. Now also, soldiers under a particular general in the Roman army would identify themselves by their general's name by adding I-A-N to the end. A soldier under Caesar would call himself a Caesarian. Soldiers under Jesus Christ could be called Christians. Now, in Antioch, they probably first used the term Christians to mock the followers of Jesus. But the people of Antioch called the followers of Jesus the Jesus people. The believers appreciated the title so much that it stuck. Eusebius, the famous early church historian, described a believer named Sanctus from Lyon, France, who was tortured for Jesus. As they tortured him cruelly, they hoped to make him say something evil or blasphemous. They asked him his name, and he only replied, I'm a Christian. They asked him, what nation do you belong to? He answered, I'm a Christian. What city do you live in? He answered, I'm a Christian. His questioners began to get angry. Are you a slave or a free man? I am a Christian, was his only reply. No matter what they asked about him, he only answered, I am am a Christian. This made his torturers even more determined to break him, but they could not. And he died with the words, I am a Christian, on his lips. Understood rightly, it's a glorious title. Can you say it? I am a Christian. I belong to Jesus Christ.